Hey guys and gals, let's continue on with Megapolis City, 5th Anniversary by Lego Monkey Kid. This is set number 80054, contains 2330 bricks, retail for $189.99, and the set was provided by the Lego Group for early review. And yes, <laughs> I get tired of reading that off every time. And remember in the last installment, we did bags one through five, which is essentially what this is. And so far, my score on this set for the review is a 9.7. And this is a bedside build. So I'm only doing these pretty much at night at this point. And in the daytime, I'm doing chores. So, you know, I've got to have a way to unwind at least. Now, um, the build's not too bad. It's just tons of stickers. We haven't got to the foil print yet. And we barely made a dent in any of these. 28 bags, so what is that, 22? 23 more bags left to do? So, yeah. Well, let's get going here. Let me get bag uh, six. I think that's six. And we'll get started on this. And I think... We're still working on some of this stuff, I don't know. It's modular. I'm not sure how many people can build it so far. I think we said maybe up two to three people. Not too bad. Put these over here. I hope there's some interesting pieces. So far I've been mostly seeing common stuff that I have in my collection, so nothing too special. Let's get that over too. And yeah, it looks like we're building something there. It's like a vending machine. We don't know. And what have I done the last installment since we met? Well, you're probably watching this probably two or three hours later. I went to bed and got out and did some chores. Uh, I've been working on a building guide and it wasn't fun to do. And now I'm rendering up the assets for it now. So that's pretty much what it is. And these bags though so far have not been grotesquely large. So now I'm working right here. You can barely see what I'm doing. Now I had somebody already complain already about the camera constantly going up and down. Um, you know, I don't have a cameraman so that's just how it is. And uh, I have to move the camera around or I could just have just a static screen on and you can just watch or just listen. But anyways though, I'm trying to get things done and you know I need this plate. I mean white's pretty close. I need it in I think tan. But white would suffice. What would you be using that plate for, Jay? I can't tell you. It's a project I've been wanting to build for quite some time, and now we're getting all the parts to do it. Yeah, this is going to be one of those sets that's completely modular, where you can snap all the little buildings together to make one big scene. And, yeah. So nothing really exciting happened, just... Excuse me, trying to yawn here, and just trying to unwind. You can always use two by three flat tiles. Surprised those things get in the face with stickers. Oh metallic coin that says five. Somebody dropped their coin on the ground. I think that's what it is. Yep. That's what it is. You always go around and you find... Remember when I was a kid, I'd get ecstatic when I'd find a penny on the ground. Now it's like sometimes you'll see a dollar bill just floating around. I'm thinking, well, that's not going to get me much. I wonder what all these parts are going to be for. First, I'm trying to find... You know, I'm not kind of focused, but I want to get these sets built. 
I have a few things that I want to get built from my own personal imagination. And I'm slowly uh, piecing together the parts for it. And Lego has that, still has that double VIP. I'm going to try to uh, scrounge up a couple of parts for that. You know, buy some pieces. Hmm. Well, it just seems like every little bag does its own little portion of the build. I really won't know until I get all the stuff built and how many people can put this together. So when I'm done, I'll keep a tally in the thing. Oh, where's that keypad go? It's a keypad right here. Maybe it's a combination lock. From the graphics, it looks like it's a little vending machine. Mm, that doesn't go there. Oh, wait a minute. I skipped a whole step. Hold on. <laughs> Whoops. I'm going to mess up too much. Yeah, it's been really humid. It's been kind of raining on and off here, very warm. But hey, I know a lot of people hate, I hate when it's humid too, but you know what? If my asthma's pretty much settled down, I'm fine. So I haven't had any issues breathing. I wish Lego would make this in transparent clear, uh, but they haven't yet, sadly. It would have been nice if they did. And Well, we obviously know what this is going to be, so we got to put a sticker on that. And it's sticker number 30. Right, I think it's this. One of these Lego. <laughs> so put that on the top. So I think this is going to be a Lego vending machine. Maybe they have. Maybe I think they have a bunch of those in Denmark. Probably one on every corner. That'd be kind of cool. Out in my area, we don't have Lego vending machines. I, it depends on where you go. Sometimes you find one that has cannabis or edibles. <laughs> uh, that's just how it is out here. When I was trying to... Okay, we need sticker number 15, which is that. I was trying to get a, a lug started. And when... People were interested more in what they can inhale, consume, or, you know, you can, you can figure out the rest. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of hopeless. I don't know. It just sits in there like that. And then we stack a bunch of studs on there. I was just trying to get a lug going, and it would be kind of cool, but... No. Nope, no lug. Maybe it's a soda machine. Uh, it's supposed to sit flat, but... Well, I got it in there. <laughs> I think that's all that matters. We gotta make another one.
go. Not too bad, huh? I like them slim like well. I sure don't like that little hole there. Kind of sloppy Lego. Probably why we got the coin there. The vending machine was spitting them out at you, pretending it's Harry Potter. Alright, so... It didn't show this in the last book, or I wasn't paying attention, but it looks like all this goes on here. Let me take a look here real quick. It just Oh yeah, I did show it. I didn't even pay attention to the last step. So, it doesn't say in the book how many builders. I'm sure somebody could build this without having all the people put it, you know, like a bunch of people putting it together at once. And then the vending machine goes here, but if you notice, it's all, you know, plug and play modules. So what I'm gathering is, it's just, you know, I'm sure it can go up to probably how many people this bag can, you know, this thing can handle. Smell the turkey dinner. You know, if that's like a couple of days away from me. And today, I think, is the 18th or the 19th. So, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> hey, when you're off work, who cares, right? Days don't matter anymore. I mean, I don't want, I don't care. I don't want to, I don't want to think. I just want to do. So yeah, I'm going to be bouncing in and out between uh, bag sessions. And what I'm going to, what I'm doing right now is I'm just doing assets. I got one that's done right now uh, for the thumbnail for YouTube. And then we're going to start on. Well, I'm going to start on the next part now. Um, you know. My main channel seems like the views are slipping, but once they slip, that's it. I'm probably going to be moving, and I don't want to go to places like TikTok and all of them, but I may have to. It's nice when an administrator contacts you and says, well, why are you planning on going here? I'm like, well, your algorithm's destroying your website, and they claim that there's not an algorithm. Back in the old days, you used to use tags for your videos. Now on YouTube, tags have very little meaning anymore. I, mean, I always tag the video. I thought when I tag the video, I can search my own videos, like, you know, on the editor. No, tagging does nothing anymore. It's that's just how it is. Is that a tennis shoe? Pair of Converse, or maybe not Nikes, but what is it, the Chuck Chuck Taylor All Star Series or something? The edition. That's what that is. It's a little tennis shoe. Must be a shoe store there. So it sits on there like that. So if you're building a shoe store like a modular, that's a nice idea to snag, huh? That just plugs in there. I would say this set's probably comfortably 14 people could build this. Well, that's a nice tile, huh? Well, we're going to have to put sticker 37 on it. <sighs> All right. 
Uh, some have said I sound like I'm bored doing these. Uh, yeah, he gets... Uh, it might lose an interest. Not really yet. It's just... Um, I kind of want to get back into my own projects, though. Still got to place an order for parts. Get that double VIP. And this goes on here. Yeah, shoes. That'd make a good thing for a shoe store. Imagine having a modular and just putting it on top of a modular building. That would look really good, huh? Whoops. We gotta make two of these. Yeah, I just remember one of my. Well, we'll say that for the next ses sessions. Some of my most fond memories of uh, Thanksgiving. I may have mentioned them in the last segment, but. Yeah. Talk about what I did when I was a kid. And that's it for six. So we're just going to do bags six through ten tonight just to get it kind of going. And that is what we have remaining. I hope the size is not going to fool us. <laughs> All right. So yeah, when Thanksgiving came around, especially when I was a kid, it was always time to go visit the grandparents' house and go see distant relatives and cousins. Seems like that's the only time we ever would see each other is during the holidays, weddings, or funerals. And yeah, that was what it was. And the family now has been reduced down to just a, a small roar. <laughs> it's the sad thing about getting older. Especially when you're not married, you don't have kids. Um, transparent red round one by one or two by two brick. I don't think I have any of those in that color. Okay. Well, we need that, but not right now. But I remember used to go into my grandparents' house. Yeah, this and my step grandmother's house. She was really nice and. Uh, It was always fun going to her house. She, she had all this stuff for us to do during Thanksgiving. And I do miss those days. Of just going to her house, meeting all the family and stuff like that. This is on my dad's side. My mom's side, her family is pretty big too, but there was tensions and stuff. Ooh, I like that tile. It's kind of peeled up in the corner. That's be great for uh, Asian style roofing. I'll have to get a couple more of those. But I was just, uh, it was just, you know you're gonna have fun for the holidays, you know, Thanksgiving and stuff like that. And uh, fast forward to today, it's not what it is. It's not fun. Sometimes I kind of wonder what my cousins are up to. We'll stick it on there like that. Oh, wait a minute. They want the yellow one first. Well, we gotta, we got to correct that. And I always wonder what they were doing and stuff like that. And I only keep in touch with two of my aunts. And that's very seldom except through the holidays. Some kind of ray gun or something or some kind of bazooka i don't know what is this thing hey <laughs> there we go i mean flamethrower maybe you got me okay that's the things though i remember going to my grandparents house things were fun
one time I mentioned, let's have a big Thanksgiving. And oh, how dare you mention that? Uh, that's a lot of work. I'm thinking, yeah, but we could spend time with family. You know, who really cares? And they weren't too fond of that. And I've got a lot of. I've been seeing a lot of dark brown bricks lately on pick a brick. It's almost next to black, so maybe one day. But I just miss those days of hanging with my cousins, especially when they would come to the house and we would all go out and just go adventure out. Just something to do while we're waiting for the turkey dinner. And we need sticker number 60. Well, I don't want to drop that and lose that all there. But that was one of the things, though, and they weren't really into Lego. They had Lego uh, bins and stuff like that, but they weren't like like heavy like what I'm into it now. I didn't didn't take until I was an adult to get into this really hardcore. But you know. <laughs> I guess we, you know, we we all grow up. And we all have to move on, but okay. What the heck are we building here, huh? And I remember uh, there was uh, my mom's side of the family. And everybody had kids over there, and. Sometimes we go to my my grandma on her side of the family, and that was always fun. <laughs> uh, not as there weren't as they weren't as big Thanksgivings, but they were still like you know we got to see the family and stuff. I bet if I walked past a lot of these people today, I wouldn't even know who they are. I wouldn't even recognize them. A lot of them were just kind of lost. In connection with and stuff like that. Alright, metallic radiator grills. I can always use those. Flip it around. Yeah, so today it's been humid, it's warm, it was raining. Got some chores done around the house, getting things cleaned up for Thanksgiving. Everybody wants me to drag out the holiday stuff. And I'm like, well, we're going to do it when I have free time. Um, I just want to get done with some basic essentials first. Uh, oh, I don't want to wait that long. Well, you're going to wait that long. There we go. Okay, what are we doing here? So step 159 is just to rotate it around. All right, what do we do with it? Look at the red brick. <laughs> and that... Oh. You swing this thing up here. Um, Alright, it's hard to see. They don't have an outline on that. Goes like this. Maybe it's something to do with that. Maybe it's something. It's the guy that goes up there and polishes the skull. We don't know. You can't even see what I'm doing. It's right there, and there's the skull. So, yeah. I wish Lego you would have put. Um, some highlights in this book. But yeah, that's what I remember for Thanksgivings. Is just visiting the grandparents, visiting family, distant relatives. Fun days, you know. <laughs> and, uh, not like that now. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. So this goes, attaches right here. I'll give you a better view here after I get that attached. So it looks like that right there. So this swings over and just attaches to this. 
I'm not sure what that's for though. Maybe it's a, a lamp post or something, or something to hang a sign on, or maybe a merchant sign. We don't know. Alrighty. You know, these weird sets, though, they're kind of a... They're just kind of like a treat, just to see exactly what we're building here. It's like something you'd see in one of the Asian countries, like Japan. We do have a house in my neighborhood that has their roof like that with the curved corners. Why? I don't know, but you can tell it was all custom. A lot of these houses out here are custom. Alright, so this actually sits some kind of lamp. Sits right on there. Just make sure you hold it underneath. You don't want that to come crashing down. I don't, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think this set's going to have a good score. Because we're just, I mean, the stickers right now are not really one after the other. I mean, I don't mind if it's a few bricks, but I just don't want to deface this stuff. Because I am going to rip it apart eventually. <laughs> Jay, you tear everything apart? Yes, I do. I don't keep any of this. And I have to go pick that up just so I can see... If I'm putting this on here right, they don't really tell you. So what I'm gathering is, is that this goes, well, let me look here again. Or who's really gonna know, right? Are we really gonna care? <laughs> Cause I could use this for a travel trailer or something. Because that means when I'm done, and see, I gotta fight this. Is it's a transparent sticker, which makes them impossible to get them on straight, especially when you get fingerprints underneath them like that. So, yeah, down to a 9.6 Lego. I mean, this is gonna drop. Because if I have to fight it, yeah, that's not good. But what else did we do in the? Thanksgiving though. I remember we used to have to drive into town or something like that. Stay the night at my grandparents' house on my mom's side. My dad's side didn't like us all there too much. So that was that. And uh, that looks like this snaps right in here. Like that. Okay. Wow, we're almost halfway done with the book. <laughs> we're getting there. But now I know when it's the holidays. Because once Halloween's around, Thanksgiving and Christmas will go by so quick. And then when January hits, eh, slow days. Now, I'm thinking about doing is bringing back live streams, but this will be for gaming. Lego, uh, trying to get, I'm trying to get this channel to have a thousand subs so I can do the live streaming on here. And just kind of sit back and just do really just, I'd like to just do like face chats where I just sit here and answer, answer questions or we could do a part sorting video or something like that. Just something that I can do that's lightweight that I, you know, if I'm working on a mock or something, I can't just do those. But just do something like, you know, like I can chat with you while I'm sorting parts. Something that I don't have to rush to get done. Or it's on an embargo date or something. Just something quick. Another sticker on. Oh, it's on one of these. Well, I may have to knock this down to a 9.5. Well, this one's, well, we don't know yet because... This is a solid one, number 17. So, yeah, let's see if we can get that on there. Res 
decently uh, we did. It looks like some kind of an engine. Whoops. I think what's going to make this set kind of not so cool is the abundance amount of stickers. I used, every time I would file a review, I would just mention it in the thing. I said, Lego, just chill out on the stickers. People will pay more for it being printed. I would. There's a lot of pieces that I'll see on pick a brick that are printed. And they go to these custom themes. Well, I sometimes will pick them up. Why? They would work really good for uh, other mocks. Put the studs on one at a time. It'd be a little easier. So maybe this is maybe we're rotating some shish kebabs. We don't know. That's what it looks like. It looks like a barbecue or something. That does sound good as shish kebabs. Uh, to make me run that by my bunch and say, what do you think? They'll probably tell me no. Go get McDonald's for them. Make some chicken and, and some beef. Matter of fact, we were on a Discord call earlier this evening and we were just talking about food. Mm, another sticker, huh? Sticker number 18. See, colors like this, these remind me of the old classic stuff back when I grew up. Uh, the bright, vivid colors. Um, I see, oh, there's 18. You're not sure? Put it up against the light like this, and you can see how much we've removed. that we're using all these right here to barely tack on these parts. I always feel like this stuff's going to literally break off. Oh, so we got the flag on the top, huh? So I guess that's so we can catch the flag on fire. So everybody has an entertainment and it's supposed to be crooked like that. Okay, and it snaps on this side here. And the tan, this one right here. All right, I think that might be it. But I still see some horns, so we forgot something in here. Oh, I see what we forgot. You're supposed to put a horn on the side of this. Well, that's my bad. I made that mistake. But at least I'll admit to it and say I made a mistake on that. I don't want to lie to you. Some people want me to lie to them. I'm not, but you're... But you know what? You're too. You, you deserve better than that. And that's what we have remaining for bag seven. Okay, now let's see what bag eight has to offer. And I think I got a. I think I caught the hiccups. So I'm hoping I can keep those held in. So far, we're moderately just going through the stickers. We're not just guzzling them down. Get this stuff out of the way. And, all right. All right. Well... I've been looking for... Wait a minute, these are different type of fences. Look at that. They have the ones that are square. These are round. You know, these would make good for, like, making Middle Eastern buildings, like temples and stuff. You know. Or if you want to, just have them as decorative lattices for your interiors. So, yeah. Uh, how many of those do we get in? Are just three? Wow, Lego, that's kind of being stingy. It's a nice fence piece, too. 
Jay, you're admiring just those type of parts? Yeah, well, why don't you admire the minifigures? Because minifigures are boring. I'm going to talk about the fence. I can use those for building things. Now i got all the time in the world now. i got to be careful how I spend it. So some kind of clown face shows this one that way. It's double-sided too. Kind of looks creepy, but you know, that's how it is. I'm hoping there's some of these parts I need in here for a tutorial that I want to work on. Oh, we got more weapons. Yay. Not. All the violence going on in the world. Lego, you thought you were supposed to be anti-war and violence and stuff. What are we doing here? We're making weapons. <laughs> Boring. All right. Maybe that's a monkey kid. We don't know. I wish I'd name the figures as we're building. It would be better. Okay, we got him out of the way. Now let's do the fun stuff. Yeah, there we go. He already got some winter projects for 2024 figured out. I got three out of the four done. Fourth one, I'm just missing a few pieces. I got to hunt for them. I'm hoping I have enough. If not, I have to order them ASAP. Uh, my luck, they're probably not on their best sellers list. And yeah. I was on Pick a Brick earlier, and it's just a lot of their graphics were missing. Like they were just. I'm thinking, well, that's not how you make a sale. If I can't see what I'm buying, what makes you think I'm going to buy it? Now, this question does come up from time to time. Why do I use Lego? Why don't I use other building toys? Lego's all I've really known as a kid. And two, you know, I, I messed around with those, those knockoff brands, and they're not really that good. If they're completely different, that's one thing, but they try to make their products compatible with Lego. And One of my buddies, he looks for used Lego at thrift, uh, thrift stores and stuff, and he always finds them, and he goes, sometimes they're just riddled with uh, Mega Blocks. And what he does is he just sorts all the Mega Blocks out and puts them in another bin. I'm thinking, oh, you should sell those Mega Blocks. I think he just has them, I guess, for spares or filler bricks. I don't know. You know, and I I remember getting this question asked. Jay, I don't have Lego. I have another brand. Is it, will it still work if they have the same parts? Yes, it will. Here's the deal. You know, if you enjoy building stuff, does it really matter? Not really. It doesn't matter. As long as you enjoy it, who cares? That's all that matters. And I've been clearing my throat. You won't know it because I've been filtering that out. But allergies and stuff like that. But all that matters, though, is just if you enjoy putting stuff together, who cares if it's the real deal or not? Well, I'm missing one of these. Oh, there it is. And say, oh, well, we got to go start sorting parts. No, I found it. I notice a lot of the steps in here are just two, one to three pieces, so an average about two pieces per step. It's kind of on the slow end on this, I've noticed. Am I starting to lose interest? Not really, because we're doing different scenes in here, so you're kind of wondering what they're doing. Well, I just knocked that over. Something's rattling. There we go. Yeah, I still remember, though, when I was younger, though, we'd go to my grandparents' house or whatever. Um, or my, and I knew my cousins were there. I'd always bring the skateboard. 
We'd go out and do the skating gig and stuff like that. And I think this goes in the other bag that we forgot to put up. But I, I, you know, just reminiscing on that stuff. Yeah, I know some don't like that, but I was just remembering, like, oh, man, we used to do that. We'd skateboard, go skating. Go skateboarding day. And yeah, they weren't into surfing though, but they didn't live anywhere near a beach. Well, what am I saying? I don't even live near a beach now. I live in a desert. We gotta make four of these little boogers. Let's start piecing them together. Yeah, I'm getting a little tired. I'm just. Like I said, I just want to start getting these built. And this round stuff is getting on my nerves. Um, just so I can uh, move on with my own builds pretty soon. See, everything's just rolling around. Oh, that doesn't go in there. We'll put the correct piece. We'll put this one in here since it's already here. Yeah, this that thing rolling around. Let's not. I don't want to lose these. I do have a few of them, but I don't know where they're at. I've been sorting part. I haven't sorted anything in a couple of days though. But I need to get on to sorting stuff so I can get everything out of here. Everything's just, all these little sticks just keep rolling around. <laughs> okay. And I'll start putting stuff on here. I think this is meant to be snow. Well, let me go pick that up. I got a bunch of this crap rolling off now. Matter of fact, where did the other one went? I'm gonna have to go find that one. Now it's starting to get pretty flimsy, so it keeps continuing getting like that. I have to ding off a point. And then after that, you gotta put these on here and you better pray that they don't fly off. There we go. What else did we do? We did that. We would, uh, well, we were too young to drive. But skateboard was about as close as we had. We're really into BMX biking or anything. I, I wasn't even into that either. But... Boy, how much I miss being a kid. I mean, I got 12 weeks. I could be a kid. I, most families take off during the summer. I take off in the winter. And that's the thing. I kind of just miss it. Um, this is, it reminds me of one of those little stages, like uh, with the puppets. I don't know. Could be a... You know, matter of fact, you put a nice roof on this and make this bright colors. Put a popcorn machine in there. It'd look really cool. Okay. We're already at bag nine. Did I forget something? Because I got a bunch of parts here. Okay, I did. Let me put that in there real quick. And it's buried in there, too. So we're going to have to... All right, let me... Uh, 
let's start with this one here. You got to put these ingots and stuff in there, and yeah. Um, what else, though? Uh, that's pretty much what we did. And that we did things we shouldn't have been doing. I'm not going to mention them here, but <laughs> I do miss those days, though. Now I just work. No, that's all I do. <laughs> if I can get, if I can get, if I could get family to do Lego, it would be cool. Yeah, let's make sure here. Cause I gotta. Um, like, where did this come from? Did I just? Was it supposed to be on one of these figures and I just forgot? Let me take a look here. Um, where's the monkey boy with the? Uh, Maybe it's just spare stuff. You know? That's it. I mean, from what I can gather, that's what we have left for bag eight. Oh, bag nine looks like it has some interesting parts in there. Okay. Some of these orange roof slopes. I've seen them in sand green, but pretty cool. Now if they would just make like two by threes and three by fours that would fit in with these, it'd be perfect. Okay. And we haven't really done much with the stickers too much. I think now we're down to a 9.6. It's starting to lean towards a 9.5. So we'll see how well it goes. And we're still tackling that thing. Like I said, when I do the when I do the when I do the uh, notes for this, I will note that down. When I edit the when I edit the when I put it up on YouTube, you know how you uh you know, hold on. I'll show you here. You know, right down here in the description, like maybe it's below the video, they have uh, points of interest or index. If you go in the, even if you scroll in the description, there's an index. I'll probably write my notes in there. So. And that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Okay. Alright, so we got to stick a bunch of these on these right here. Yikes, I hope we're not going to attach any because this is kind of just really flimsy. I feel like that's just going to break apart. Yeah, I still have, I still haven't even edited part one of this yet. <laughs> So, um, once I get that going, I'll, I'll be fine. This is not due for two weeks, two, two and a half weeks. So I'm, I'm not too worried about, um, do I have to have it done right away? No, but the sooner I get it done, the better, you know. Not, I'm trying not to contaminate the bill with doing my personal stuff, but sometimes I just want to explore my mind. Alright, so let's make sure we're facing this the right way so I can keep tabs on it. Now, I'm, I don't know how sturdy this is going to be. I'm not going to press directly on that, so I'm just going to hold underneath. And I don't want to risk breaking it. Okay, so we do actually have some of these in here. In orange, too. And I guess I can start putting it in the corners now. The steps 20, uh, 201 and 202 do these, anyways. So, and boy, I still need to get that haircut. I'm waiting until after Thanksgiving, though. Um, it's starting to get in my ears and it's starting to flip, get wavy. Don't like it. Although, my friend, she wants me to. Get that silly uh, 
Well, the kids are just pushing it all forward and getting the TikTok thing, and I'm thinking, oh, I don't know about from my age. I don't want to do all that. Looks like it'd be high maintenance, and I have to take care of it. Or I'm just going to get it all cut off like I normally do. I mean, ladies. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's what, you know, they know more than we do, I guess. The fashion stuff. I'm not much into fashion. I was with the trends when I was younger, but not anymore. Okay, so now we got to make this whole thing here. Oh, trying to hide it from me. Looks like something you'd see like on your uh, your uh, Chinese food containers. All right. You know, I hate when this stuff is like this. I have to slide it off the counter to pick it up. Maybe I need to grow up my nails really grotesquely long. I've seen some guys where their nails are like this. I'm like, man, it just looks like that would hurt. Picking all this, picking stuff up with that. All right. It's not too bad, huh? It looks pretty cool. All right, we got to put a sticker on something. I need to find stickers 40 and 41. And... Well, it's not on that one. We're back onto this one here. Yeah, I can't wait to go to bed. I got a bed that's calling me right now. Um, everybody else here went to bed. And I hate when you can't get these little narrow things centered. Well, I managed it. I don't know how, but I did. And I've got a little bit of a bubble in there. Okay. I mean, we're getting we're getting close with that one there. I mean, well, about not even halfway. What am I saying? And let's see here. I know some people go OCD if I put things on backwards. Maybe I should purposely do that, huh? Put it on backwards. I think, or do we just put it all the way up against the top there? It doesn't show it. So I'm going to be inclined to put it right there in the middle. Of course, it's your, you know, if you got this set, you could do it any way you want. You know. So far, what I'm seeing here, it does have a lot of potential, a lot of good building techniques, stuff that I could use for other creations, but um, I'm just not into this theme. And two, uh, uh, this is some of the colors. I mean, these it's bright, colorful. It's, I mean, I have to say that this set, you know, this is kind of gloomy over here, but it does have some color into it. It's not. It's not dark and gloomy and stuff. Missing a stud here. As far as for going out of town, I mean, like going into like camping or something for Thanksgiving or just like to a cabin, never done that. I always wanted to have like a, like a, like a cabin Thanksgiving or something, like a mountain Thanksgiving and a Christmas would be always fun. And one year I mentioned it, and I got the frowny faces, and I thought, man, that sounds like it'd be a blast. Okay, we got to shove these through these holes. Ooh, I don't want to break that. My luck, I'll never get that back together. You got to shove these through the little holes here. So just hold your breath. But I remember one time I mentioned it, like, oh, we can't do this, we can't do that. And I just said, okay, fine. I don't know who's we, but I thought it'd be something different, you know. Just 
things that I've always wanted to do when I was a kid we didn't do. Now I, I, I'm a full-grown adult and in case I go by myself and then some people just give you the guilt trip. But we're not going to go on all that boring rant stuff. All right, so now I love these one by three by three corner plates. They're pretty cool. I need to grab a couple of those. I need them in other colors. Bedspread corners. <laughs> That's what I call them. And one by two plate. Stack two more plates on top of one another. This is the best time to do tutorials, to be honest. Um, but the, but right now the tutorials that I have are missing like a piece or two. So I don't want to just give you guys some nonsense, boring. Uh, oh, wait, this piece doesn't go here. Uh, some nonsense, boring tutorial that's not even completed. That would not do you any good as the builder. I could use different colors. I've been thinking about that. What if I have a really good tutorial that I want to share, but I just don't have the colors. I try to use substitutes, but it just depends though. And this goes here. Which stud does that go on? One closer to me. Oh, that's where it goes. Wait, okay, wait a minute. I'm glad I didn't push that all the way in. There's supposed to be a plate in there than this. Must be snow or something piled in the corner. That means it's pretty cool. I mean, it's wintertime and all, and kind of just sets the tone. Yeah, I can't wait for turkey day. I want my turkey. Hey, at least it ain't chicken. I'm burned out of chicken. Uh, like tonight we were all talking. We're not doing chicken this week. I said, I hey, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I don't care. I don't want chicken. I can't stand chicken anymore. And this goes in here. Now, bacon, I don't care. I love bacon. I couldn't eat it every day. I couldn't eat it maybe once a week. Bacon's a good meal, and I work my buns off, and I kind of want to do something a little different. And it looks like this gets married to that. So let's get that lined up here. Lining up these uh, friction pins are kind of a pain. This little antenna just fell off again here. This is a problem. I gotta knock it down to 9.5 Lego because I'm messing with that too many times. And so far, that's what we've done down there. And there's nothing left for bag nine. Okay, bag 10 is pretty big, so it looks like we're building ourselves another frame here. And yeah, so so far, am I happy with the set? It's I'm curious to see what we're doing here. So I'm it's keeping my interest. We're already at a 9.5. So um, this is the last bag for this installment. So I'm basically going to do possibly three installments for bag one and two installments for bag two. It depends on how I want to break it down. I think the other bag has got. This one has 15, and then one I think has 13, so I I don't know. We'll think about it. We're going to, you know, gonna get that far. And i got to pull out all the minifigure parts. That's all Technic pieces. We'll open that up later, huh? <laughs> yeah, we'll just do that. Ooh. I needed one of these in medium nougat. Well, that may just come in handy for a project. But you know what? Here, here's the deal. I cannot do. I cannot scrounge parts off this until after I get it done and reviewed. Matter of fact, not until I get my paperwork filed. 
than I do. So she needs a wig. In fact, she looks normal in here. And that's it. She was easy enough to put together. And, alrighty, Technic. I just want to get on to my own stuff, boys and girls. I just build my own creations. My mind is kind of flooding around with some of these parts. Got a couple of these for making propane tanks, but I don't know if I'll make... One of the campers that I'm building is an older one. It doesn't have any of those, so, you know... About the views, though, if the channel, if not this one, but the main one doesn't pick up in views, uh, I'm starting to set up things for um, building guides. I got a template ready to go. Start putting together um, the um, building guides for sale. I think I put one up a few weeks ago, and I'm going to do another one this week. Um, Try to do one every week, maybe two or three weeks, maybe one every month. Right now I should have about 36 manuals. I've only gotten six, six or seven. So I didn't get too far on that. I gotta, I gotta get on those quickly. And manuals are gonna range for a dollar on up. Depends on what it is. Cars are like a buck or two. I'm not gonna, you know. The good thing about a building guide is, is that I can revise it, and change it up a bit, versus a video tutorial. Although here, you know, I mean, with the building guide, I cannot give you commentary. I can't tell you stories. Here I can. Oh, a minute. Well, did I put that in right or no? Yes, I did. Right. we got to put more on there. What are we doing here? Building a spaceship or something? It looks like we are. Yeah, or maybe it's a fly swatter or something. We don't know. A big, a big one. Kill those dragonflies from Spiral the Dragon. Speaking, of, I haven't even finished up the United Trilogy yet. I was playing it. I got, I got Spiral the Dragon. Now I'm working on Spiral Two. I haven't finished it up yet. Oh, I put that in the wrong hole. So I've been slowly just playing video games. But all the stuff I got going on around here in the daytime, it's almost impossible. So you get off work and you got to do more work. <laughs> I've been checking out, inspecting the house, inspecting the roof, make sure nothing's going to leak or anything like that. I prefer to be outside and inside. So I'm trying to think of a thing to do Lego videos outside to make it more entertaining a little more uh, down to earth instead of just a lot of guys they do it in a Lego room that's where they do all their Lego sets and I'm thinking well I kind of want to do things a little different I have the property I can do it hmm that just does not want to go in. Why they use a regular... Oh, that's not a regular. Sometimes I use the cross axle and make them easy to put on. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought those were our 1 by 12s I've been kind of... Whoops, that's not going to do any good. That's already coming apart. Oh, let me get that. But I've been trying to look for 1 by 12 Technic bricks. And... I just don't have a whole lot to finish up a project that I've been working on, so I had rearranged it. Oh, one to one. Well, we'll see here. Let's take a look. Is this really one to one? Yeah, one to one. So, so if you mess up, this will tell you. I like it when Lego does that because it's a good way to check your progress. Okay. Let's get comfortable here. This is a last bag, so I'm not too worried. I don't want to make a mistake, though. This one has a lot of big pieces. I mean, what are we doing? Technic sets? I... 
be sure to flip it over. See, I got all these parts just trying to tag that lady over there. Tag or make her do all the Technic parts. Maybe that's a good idea. I don't like doing Technic. Technic and myself do not get along. There's a stud that goes in there. Hollow studs, so I don't know if they're going to have any importance or not. So this is a set here you're going to have a big area to work on. How am I going to do the, the, the tour on this? I don't know. I got an old tripod I got to fix so I can set some lights up and see if we can get better lighting for the tours. Well, you told me that you like the newer lighting. It's better. The sound's crisper. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, I just listen to everybody now, and if something needs to be improved, we'll do it. Some of my tutorials are just kind of subpar. The old stuff is subpar to today's standards, so I'm going to clean all those old ones up. The old ones will stay on YouTube, but I need to clean them up. Put a corner piece in here. So we got two corners. Let's start with the corners first. Two. Um, yeah, I got to put two palisade bricks in there. I was looking at that, thinking, um, or we used to call them log bricks, but now I call them palisade bricks. Uh, I got a bunch of those bumpy log <laughs> one by four bricks. Oh, one by two bricks. That's a bumpy log piece. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I guess this is really going to strengthen this up. Now, I don't really like platforms all that much, but it's you could drop this. Uh, you, if you were to build a custom, you can drop it in your city and stuff like that. But I'm just not a fan of them. Still waiting for Lego to make Mills plates. If you've seen those 16 by 16 stud plates, they don't come in a whole lot of um, sizes and stuff. Those are really cool, but I wish they'd bring in a 32 by 32. Even if they're like 20, 30 bucks a piece, I'd be inclined to buy a couple of those. It'd be kind of cool. Flip it over now. And we got to put this in here. Why? I don't know. Maybe that's the walls for the pit. Or maybe this. Which way does that go in? I've done that like once or twice in my building guides. So flip it upside down. Okay, so the studs go back here, so they're going to be right here. So it's basically just decoration. This piece just hangs in there. So like that's how you want it. I don't know what the significance is. But we'll find out. Alrighty, just about done here for the night. Yeah, but you can build these sets any way you want. You can take your time. You know, I, you gotta follow the instructions, like what the Lego movie says. Really? That's funny. <laughs> this time I've been doing it wrong, I've been building with my imagination. That Lego movie, though. I remember I used to, I got roasted because some people said, oh, wait, you, did you watch it? Yeah, but I fell asleep through half of it. 
oh, how dare you, that was a good movie, I'm thinking, there wasn't enough, there wasn't enough action in there, it wasn't an action packed. I'm not really into animations. But... Yeah, speaking about all that turkey, that does sound good. I have a feeling this goes in here. I don't know, but... Maybe. Who knows? Let me make sure. Yeah, I got the right one. Yeah, it does go in there. Um, skip two studs. Well, it, it goes up against the wall there anyways. There we go. Imagine trying to take all that apart there. Oh, I just noticed this. They're holding it with their fingers. The magical hand from the void comes out. The fingers. The fingers are coming out and telling us how to put it together. So they were trying to trying to trying to get us into that there. The fingers are coming out to tell us how to hold it. It's like this. Uh, okay, I mean, all right. Probably goes there. Nope. This one goes over here. And we gotta make one more. I'm assuming this one's probably a mirror. Oh wait a minute, we don't we're not done yet with that. And this one goes here. There we go. I'm going to use some of these to go around that. What a waste. I have to wait to get a review just so I can pull those out of there. I guess to strengthen all that up. Those Technic pieces are more than capable of doing that. Two, two bricks left. So we forgot something. What did we forget? I think we've got to put some there. We've got these bricks here. All right, let me get a bookmark. Temporary, of course. And like I said, you notice how I, um, I always get this question. Jay, I'm, I got extra pieces. What do I do? Just go back and read the book. Do it every step. Like, not every step. Every, every section. You know, I don't know where those go, to be honest. Um, oh, well, I'm going to have to pull something out to get those in there. Whoops. Yeah, so that's what happens when, you miss, when you're not paying attention. But honestly, though, I could have filtered that and said I didn't mess up, but I did. Just... Take your time, go back through it, and find out what parts you forgot. We already know these are extras, so that's it for bag 10. And, yeah, let's take a look at the sticker sheet here. Let's make sure that we're done. And, I'm getting tired. So, so far, that's pretty much what we've done. We're starting to slowly devour stickers. We haven't used the vape piece yet. So that goes there. Somebody asked me if I vaped, and I'm like, no. I don't, I don't want any health problems. <laughs> you know? I don't want to make it complicated. And so right now, I'm going to say we're at a 9.5. 
um, for the review, and it's basically stickers. I had that issue with that thing falling off over there. That's everything in the frame here. This is just to kind of show off what we've done so far. So this is um, basically um, an installment assessment. And I'm not sure where this part here goes with this. Let me start setting things up. Oh, that fell out right there. Wow, Lego. I mean, I, I was kind of weary on that, but... That comes out again. I'm bringing it down to a 9.4. Right. Some people have complained, say I complain, says it's more of a, a skill. Like, Jay, you're messing because you can't build it. <laughs> what do I do? That's constructive criticism. They can say that all they want. And at the end of the day, though, it's basically uh, my thoughts. That's really all my reviews are, is my thoughts and opinions. Nothing, nothing more. Okay, so, except for these, we already talked about them. So, we have four minifigures we built so far right here. That might be my thumbnail here. Well, let's put the flamethrower down so you don't fall over. And, yeah, it's a pretty interesting build. Nothing really uh, spectacular. I'm going to just put them on here. So when I do the, the thumbnail, I don't have to mess with them. I just set them on there. This thing here, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I, I don't know. Some, I don't know what half this stuff is. So I'm just kind of guessing at it here. And we'll set up these other ones, too. And, I mean, so far, the build is keeping my interest. It's not boring. It's just I'm tired. But it's not like the set's boring. It's it's using common parts. So I'm just only guessing that... Um, I guess more is to come. I've seen some pieces like this that I don't really have in that color. But I think what's going to drag this set down, I know some of you are tired of me harping on it and stuff, and that's your opinion, is all these stickers. I don't want to just be putting stickers together on this, but if all this stuff was printed, I mean, right now it would just probably be a 9.9. .9. But for me personally, it's not a bad build. For $190... I'm not too sure yet. But this is 2,330 pieces. That's like less than 10 cents per piece. And so far, you're getting some, some... There's a lot of common stuff I've seen, but these roof pieces, I don't have really any of these. So for me personally, it, it's, it's a building experience we're going to have to develop more on. I can't really give my assessment. I forgot I had this light here. Oh... I can't plug it in. I got the laptop plugged in over here. So tell me what you think of the set. So far, I'm happy with the build. So stay tuned for the third installment.